In our last video, we saw the famous drum crush, which is a parallel compressor in the snare and the kick. Now we're going to do it with the compressor that it has been typically being used for this task, which is the DBX160. Let's remember. Now using the DBX160 is easy. You go and click on the presets and then select drums parallel and you will have this preset. The first thing you'll notice is that this preset is hyper compressed, but fear not because it's meant to be parallel. Now this compressor is the easiest one to use, even easier than the two knobs compressors because all you have to do is look at these two LEDs and notice that when the red LED turns on, it means that the signal has surpassed the threshold. Let's take a look so you can see how this works. For example, the threshold now is only surpassed by the kick. If we move the threshold a little bit to the left, you will notice how the red LED turns on with the kick and the snare. And if you get lower in the threshold, you will notice that the red LED turns on all the time and that means that we are reading in the RMS area. For now, let's keep it hitting both the snare and the kick and compensate to unity. Now we manipulate compression, which is just ratio to get the tone, the famous twang of the TVX. Now we slowly add the parallel track to our drums in context. And that's the famous DBX drum sound. 